Where are you, mom? Like Turkish flight is already arrived, and everybody is coming out, and my mom is like, I don't know, where is she? And she's not even answering her phone. Now is another day and another vlog and today is such an amazing perfect day for me because today my mom will visit me here in philippines i'm so so excited so happy i just want to hug her i'm full of emotion i haven't seen my mom for years now before pandemic my mom and my dad they used to visit me like every year and for four years this didn't happen and i miss their hug and their voice their breath everything about them i miss Aww. hanging out with them i miss spending my time with them and i love love them so much and uh, my dad can make it but then my mom is visiting me and i'm I don't know. I don't know how I can't describe my feelings. There's no word for that. Can tell that how I feel for my mom in no language. Spanish, English, Tagalog, Persian, no language that I know that can describe that. But then of course, when your mom is coming in your place and visiting you, there is one thing is very important for all of us. I guess you guys also know what I'm going to talk about and that is to have a clean house and clean place, especially for Filipino moms, right? Everything's supposed to be organized, clean. And I am an organized person and I am super clean person, but then my mom is like another level. So for that, I ask help from Busy B for them to come here and clean up the place and make all the dust away and disinfect the area and just check out. Like our bar is super dusty. So I remove everything from the bar so that they can clean up everything and all the glass, all the windows and everything yeah the house is super clean and i'm super super happy now my mom gonna be here around 6 or 6 30 p.m and we're going to eat first so that i gotta go to airport with full energy and we're gonna of course hang out again right after with of course with my fiance and my mom it's gonna be so nice right now i'm very close to her but then it was not like this before when i was teenage or when i was in college we were not close because there was this wall between us like it's like she's my mom and i'm her daughter she has this wall that i have to obey her whatever she say is right i shouldn't talk about my opinion or my suggestion in my life because it's not right because i'm the kid and she's my mom and all these years there was this wall between us and there was a time i really felt so lonely because i can see my mom is so generous so loving super kind and everybody talk about her kindness and everything when i was teenage even when i was in college like it was like your mom is so kind so loving but i'm like why i never feel that it's like she's mom of everyone but me like when it comes to me i am your daughter but then others they can have all this love and attention and acknowledgement from you and i try to prove it like with my academic side i always be a scholar top of the class and all that so that she can see me that i'm good i'm a good girl i'm a good daughter there was a point that i feel that i whatever i do like i don't know why i feel this way right that time i felt that whatever i do like i'm not good enough for her and I can never be because I don't know what to do you know so the time that I let it go the time that I stop proving myself like I'm a good daughter good girl all the good things that it's from her perspective I just live my life I just did things that it satisfy me it makes me happy even she wanted me to stay with her in Iran but then I said no I want to go to Philippines I want to work and have my career here in Philippines and I really broke her heart because I know she wanted me to stay there but 
that was not my life that's not what i wanted to choose for myself and when i start working here and i have my own clinic and all that of course the first person i invited and the first person who fly all the way from iran to philippines was my parents and when my mom came to my clinic she invited the whole of her philippines family they were like all over from us they came here for reunion so they came here the moment they land here my mom said hey come here to shida's clinic we're gonna have a gathering and lunch together and i was like oh okay oh my god i'm so nervous that time when my mom was in the clinic i was like so nervous i'm like oh my god she might tell oh why did you have this why you have that why you put this in this corner so i was prepared for all the negative things that she might say or the good things she might not say so i was prepared and when she was in our clinic together with my dad and the family her cousins and everyone was there she asked me to it feels just like yesterday i'm sorry if i very emotional about this so she asked me to go to our office the moment i went to the room and then she hugged me so much like she hugged me so tight and she told me that i am so proud of you and i'm so scared to tell that i'm proud of you every time i am proud of you for your success because i see you growing and i want you to stay with me like forever but i know i can't and i need to let you go and it was so hard for me as a mom to do that because i gave everything to you and i thought you're gonna stay for me like forever and she told me that she's so proud of me and i was like crying just like now i get to understand my mom that moment because i was in iran and she was racing me there of course she was racing me with a different culture that she didn't know about it and my mom told me that i'm sorry if i was a street mom i'm sorry if i was not a good mom that you wanted because you were my first kid and i didn't have experience not just for you but also to raise you in a different environment i was also so new and i just want to tell that i'm sorry for all that part that you felt that i was not a good mom for you and i just hugged her and i told her no you're a good mom and she is she's such a great mom i remind her as well that when we were a kid oh my god when we were a kid like 4 a.m 5 a.m she wakes up she make our lunch bags because of course in iran there is no yaya right she's the one who does everything she wakes up early 4 a.m take care of our lunch bag even our dinner and our uniform everything is prepared the room and the house is always clean our breakfast is ready we go to school and she goes to work she's a doctor so she also goes to work and she also have her full-time job from morning till night but the thing is when i come home with my brothers after school there's always lunch for us even my mom is still not home so she prepared lunch she prepared the table for us when we enter the house is clean and neat when we enter our room is all clean i mean all those things and all this time i was telling myself that i was looking in a dark part about how me and my mom are not connected because i also needed to see the part that my mom gave her everything to us like her time her effort and everything everything that she knows she also gave it to us and i also have a part to acknowledge that and that was the time that when i understand her i acknowledge her and i felt that that was the time that we got so close and from that year that's like 15 years ago that was the time that we got super close with each other and i talked to her about everything she talks to me about everything if i'm mad if i'm down if i get irritated or even annoyed from her i still tell her that mom what you're saying is so annoying why you're saying that and then she explained her part i'm like okay now i realize i'm also annoying sometimes yeah and so there you guys i'm just happy that i'm going to share these things to you Bezan Peri. It's 6 40 so we just rushed home because we brought our puppies out 
and they were like so anti-social. I feel so tired. Enjoyed. I think they enjoyed. I don't think Loki enjoyed. We didn't even take video because we know that they're not enjoying. <laughs> because we wanted to be focused on the puppies. And the thing is, one of our friends told us that our babies are so humanized. So we need to bring them out and walk them around. So we did and I but, feel um, so yeah. tired. We changed our clothes and we are going to airport. <laughs> Excited to see excited. your, your yeah. mother, future in law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excited. It's been long. I, it's been four years. I think the last yes. time she was here was 2019, July of 2000, June of 2000. Wow! I didn't even know the day. Wow, you really love her. So so three happy. years and six months. And Farimo is also here at the back. Hi. <laughs> Super supportive. I think we're late, are we? No, we're not. Once the Plane lands, she needs to pass through immigration, get her bag, and we'll yes. be there right on time. I'm so excited, can fight it. I'm so excited. Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> I don't know how she looks like right now. <laughs> we always video chat. But she was so excited as well because her sister and some of her brothers and the cousins, they're all coming from US, Europe, so that they have a reunion in. Lawag city in Ilocos Norte and she was really happy and excited about it but she told me she's mostly excited to see and hug me <laughs> she said I can't wait to hug you just like when you were just a kid Aww. still a kid <laughs> so my mom just arrived and I'm just here waiting outside I hope she can find us actually I'm just in front of the entrance, me and Fire White. It's hard not to see us. <laughs> Fire is also like going somewhere to park. It's really hard to park here in the airport. So I think she's just going around and around of the circle till I will get my mom, pick her up and bring her outside. Where are you mom? Like Turkish flight is already arrived and everybody is coming out and my mom is like, I don't know. Where is she? And she's not even answering her phone. It's ringing, so it means I can find her, it's just lost. Thank <laughs> you. 